In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between inflation and interest rates. So first, we need to look at the terms nominal and real interest rate, just like there's nominal and real GDP. Now, real GDP ultimately just takes nominal GDP and adjusts it for inflation, and it's the same thing with interest rates. You've got your nominal interest rate, which just shows the increase in value of a time of a financial asset purely in dollar terms or in whatever currency it is. So say, for example, you've got a nominal interest rate of 5% per annum, then if you have $100 of value in that financial asset, you know, could be in a bank account, then after one year that will become $105. So the nominal interest rate is the actual interest rate you would see quoted. If you look at a bank account and it says, you know, 3% per annum or 4% per annum, that's the nominal rate. The real interest rate just adjusts this for inflation, thus giving you the increase in purchasing power over time. So say, for example, we had this nominal interest rate of 5% per annum. If inflation was at 5%, so that... With $100, you know, say you could buy one basket of goods initially at a price of $100. In the next year, you would need $105 to buy the same basket of goods, which you would have in your financial asset. So the purchasing power of the financial asset has 